Welcome to the Clover Salon Scheduler training video. This is the first in a series of videos. I want to encourage you to watch them all. And, um, and because what's going to do for you is it's going to help you know all the details of how to use this scheduler. At the least, it's going to make you familiar with how to use your Clover system and how to use the scheduler. And so you'll have better questions to ask. Okay. We know you're trying to run your business. You're not trying to be a techie. We get that, and so we want to, this video should help a lot, because, you know, if you can call us, but when you talk to us, you're not getting to see things, and so this video is an attempt to help you to be able to see and hear how to run your Clover system, and, uh, you know, take your time, I encourage you to just get a cup of coffee or something, and um, just enjoy this this time. It's going to be a little bit informal. I think it's probably better just to spend the time on the questions and make it a little more conversational. So let's just get started, okay? So before we begin anything, I want to tell you some of the features of the scheduler, okay? It's going to let you do your appointment scheduling. Obviously, that's what a scheduler is for, you know. And the, the scheduling is going to include the ability to send out reminders for your customers. It's going to let you handle all of your online scheduling needs for your customers, where they can even leave a card on file for, uh, for no-shows or for if you just want to charge them immediately at the time of the booking. It's also going to let you have a, uh, a reporting portal so that you can track the commissions that you need to pay each of your employees based on their services they, you know, that they've performed within any time period. Uh, we give you an iPhone app, an iPad app, an Android app, full Windows 10 app, as well as an app that will work on your new, uh, the new Macs, the, the Macs that were um, built after 2020. Okay. So basically, the scheduler is going to be available to you from a lot of different devices. And the idea behind the scheduler is that it's going to fully integrate with your Clover system. Okay, so what is a Clover? Okay, sometimes uh, it helps to start from the beginning. The Clover is the, the device that you purchased, but it's also a back end where you have a, a, a common inventory, common customers, common employees, and common orders for any Clover app, okay? You can also access uh, your inventory, your customers, your employees, and your orders from your web dashboard, which means you can access all these things directly from, you know, any device that's that you're logging into your Clover web dashboard account with, okay? So this inventory, customers, employees, and orders, any app that's fully integrated like the scheduler, it's gonna share that information uh, amongst all any app that that's integrated okay so and we we're a third party app which you get your third party apps from the more tools on your web dashboard or from your clover device okay at the bottom of your clover you've got a home button a back button and you've got this other uh, little square box which lets you see all of your open apps so you can just swipe them away if you need to okay but your home button gets you to see all your apps and be able to work with them Okay. You can also uh, swipe down from the top right-hand corner right here. If you swipe down, you'll see options for rebooting or restarting or setup uh, for your Clover device. Um, there's also an app called Help. It's really helpful on your Clover. And uh, what you do is you log in to your Help app. And when you log in, if you're having trouble with your internet, for example, that help app, um, now this is a demo, so you can't quite see it, but it's going to give you the ability to look at your connection status. And when you look at that, oh, here we go. So, so you, you tap on these three lines right here and diagnostics and connection status. Okay. Now, see, it's going to give you a history of the connect of just, you know, has your system been going up and down or what's your internet been doing? Okay. And that's really important. Because you may show connected on your Clover, but that only means you're connected to your router. It doesn't mean your router is connected to your internet, okay? So make sure you take advantage of your help app on your Clover device. That's really useful for you, okay? The last thing I want to show you real quick about uh, just as far as uh, basics about your Clover is if you go to your scheduler app and you tap on the... I'm going to take it a minute to start up. Okay, if you tap on this question mark right here, see this send getting started info to my phone. Tap that, put in your cell phone number, and what it's going to do is it's going to text you some important links for your Clover account. Okay, it's going to give you a merchant token as well as a contact number that you can call us and leave a message. 
we're really good about those messages. We have people that are standing by and we'll usually get back with you within 15 minutes. You can just say urgent, call me, or you can tell us the, the, the nature of your problem and that can give us a quick head start and we can research it before we call you, okay? Either way, those are, important, those are some real important links that we're going to send you. So I want to encourage you to do that first and foremost from your Clover app, okay? That's the end of this first tutorial video. We're going to get into the, uh, the next video, which will be how to set up your services. I want to encourage you to watch these in order. Again, there's details that will really help you. And even if the details aren't important, you'll have a general idea of how things work. And so when you call us, you'll have a lot, you'll just be able to be helped a lot quicker. Okay. So the next video will be set how to set up your services.